Yeah. But they're nice people. Yeah. Yeah. Nice people. <laughs> yes. How old is Dark Ace? How old is Dark Ace? Um, yeah, I thought it was late 20s from all the way. Because, well, Mid to late. if you look at the, uh, when they do the little flashback stuff about pre-Storm Hawks, you see he's still there causing the story. I think that those are his early rebel years before he had any real power. Um, yeah, so he's got to be a little bit older. He's say. older yeah, than the other yeah. twenties. Yeah. yeah, still looks good though, doesn't he? Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, the it's the hair gel. It's the Botox. <laughs> <laughs> Crystal Botox. <laughs> Crystal Botox. Yes. So imagine you had all the uh, creatures and all the different uh, species types all drawn out. But whose decision was it to give the absolute zeros the Canadian accents? <laughs> <laughs> Ace. Yeah, that was Ace. Ace, Ace actually does a voice. Ace does. If, if, voice. You, if you watch the series again, Ace makes a few guest appearances in different yeah. characters. So, and that was one of them. Was he Billy? Billy, 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 Rax. Billy, Billy Rax. He was, Yeah, he was the, the bully Susie kid, Lurk. right? In the, the episode when they're doing the origins episode, you know, where they go back and show how they became the Stormhawks. Is that yeah. is that the character? The he was the bully that was bossing around Junko because when Junko joined was Stormhawks. Was he the bully kid too? Yeah, I'm pretty oh, sure. I think so. Maybe he yeah, was. Yes, because I recognize. Him. So but yeah, definitely. I was Ace's idea to bring the Canadian accents. Yeah. 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 This, to this is a totally random idea. Okay, these guys are. Furry animals must live in cold climates. Canadian accent, that was it. And the flat. Well, and plus we're proudly Canadian, you know, serving up. No, I think it just started from the absolute zeros, and then it was like, okay, cold, that's it, Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just went in that direction, and then the hats and toques came out. Yeah. You know? If you actually look at Susie Lou's weapon, it actually looks kind of like, it wasn't inspired by hockey stick. <laughs> <laughs> there, there it is. Yes. Next season. Yeah. Clothing design could go anywhere. It could go anywhere. Yeah, like Louis Vuitton. Yeah, going to the far side. It could go anywhere. You got ideas? Send them in. Put Stork in a dress. Like, why do you guys always go there? What's the cost dressing? Everybody's got to be in a dress. Yes. Yes. Oh, was that a question? No. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh. Yes. Uh, here's, a, okay, here's another one. Radar is described as Arrow's pet of indeterminate origin, but he looks kind of like an absolute zero. Is there any relation there? Is, is he even from that Atmos or? Is there a mystery there? The mysterious love child of some kind of... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. For all we know. Maybe they Radar are... is Arrow's son. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Wait, what's the way? Susie Lou. Susie Lou. There's one drunk in there with Susie Lou. <laughs> don't you know? Nine months later, don't you know? <laughs> I can't take care of him. I gotta save the Atmos. Are you crazy? No, he's your son. You take him. Uh, okay. This is a story. We tell everybody that you're my sidekick pet, okay? Daddy. No, no, daddy. No, daddy. Okay? No, daddy. You don't want to be sending me fanfic. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I'm writing that story. I'm gonna blog it out. I'm gonna draw. Yeah. Oh gosh. Deviant art. Watch out. <laughs> Maybe Radar's the greatest of I don't know. Yeah, it's like, we only seen one Radar. No, Radar's a mystery. He always will remain a Maybe they'll do an Origins episode for Radar. Just for him. There you go. We'll figure Put the chicken in that one. <laughs> yes, you remember your question. Okay, was it always designed for Stork to be so much older than the other Stork Hawks? Stork? Yeah. What do you think he's old? Yeah. He's gotta be old. He's still in his teens. He's like 8, like 19. I think he's a teenager. I think he's just yeah. he's just more neurotic and kind of like he's an old soul, you know what I mean? Like he's been around, man, he's seen everything, you know, he's just like Or, you know, the love, you know. <laughs> and the evil hair. <laughs> His hair is awesome. So, would you, what would you say to Colin? 
We got about five more minutes. So. Um, <laughs> the thing is, if you guys um, want to get uh, some signatures here from people, we should try and. Uh, you guys up for that at some point? I think we might be. I'm gonna be at the booth. Oh, are you gonna be at the Stormhouse Yeah, maybe. Are you? Yeah, later on. It's like what time? Though. Oh, I see. <laughs> you, you don't want to stay around. Right? Um, whatever, I mean, you guys are willing to stick around for 10, 15 minutes yeah, out there? Sure. Fine. Yeah. Okay, so we'll just answer questions, and if you would uh, like to approach these gentlemen in a quarterly fashion out there and get a signature, that'd be cool. Yes, did you have a question? <laughs> More than the creative process, you can do a lot to decide how they would work. You might have a number of very young to play all fit together properly. Uh, actually, you could probably get to figure out the crystal stuff, though, right? Well, most of the way they, they well, work. supposedly the crystal, they were like the fuel crystals and then um, the weapon grade crystals. Um, they've never really gone into deep in, in the series, but uh, actually, there were early, early drawings of. The skeleton of all the vehicles. Like, all the inner workings, all the crystal chain works. It's never been discussed. Yeah, we never really, we never really took that any further in the show with the crystals. I know in the beginning when we did the promos, the crystals had a lot to do with the skimmers and yeah. how the skimmers performed. We do that a couple times in the show. But you do realize all the bad guys have the red crystals. And, um, but, um, I mean, early on we realized maybe with the white bow they can combustion engine and all the use the crystal power and the light bow, but then I think at the end we just figure out the all crystal power. And uh, where did the crystals derive from? Like, I'm just curious about lightning. The lines of Moria. <laughs> the lines of Moria. <laughs> I'm not in. I think the natural reports. Um, no I'll, I'll consult with um, a scientist at work. And then I know friends. We do show in episodes that come from mines. There's certain places in mines where they hold certain crystals, they mine them. And uh, who's that? Who's that giant guy that carries that holds onto? Who's that tall guy? That giant who the Piper went to grabbed all the crystals from. Anybody remember his name? Uh, yeah, 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 that's it. There you go. Look at his place. This guy's got, yeah, gazillion crystals in his place. But I mean, at the back of the chamber where the phone is, for uh, that machine with all the arms, mm -hmm. um, she's, she's got doing her, like, her own crystal firing and stuff, so. And you can get them at Walmart, so. <laughs> <laughs> Any big box outlet, store, Costco, Walmart, you can get them. SamVincentHondo.com for selling for five million. Yeah, I'm, yeah I can, you can also get them online, yeah. too, baby. Um, high quality, baby. Where did the crystal come from? Didn't they say when Buddy Wallace was mining? That's right, yeah. Yeah. They were stuck at that wasteland. Yeah. 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 So they mine them for different They do mine them, but um, I don't doubt there's some artificial things. There you go, synthetic crystals. Synthetic crystals. Are you on sustainable mining practices? Are you with David Suzuki Foundation? <laughs> <laughs> We're not answering it. Just don't answer that question. Don't answer that question. Absolutely. Crystals are limitless. There's tons. We'll never run out of crystals. Never Just like fossil fuels. Right, kids? Right? 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 It's enough for everyone, right? <laughs> Uh, any last questions before we wrap this up and let the next panel people come in? No. Nope. Over there. Sam, what's your favorite uh, celebrity voice to impersonate? I I don't do celebrity voices, to be honest with you. I'm not. I'm not. I don't really go there. Sorry to disappoint you. No, it's not Arnie. <laughs> Everybody go, Barney, I'm Barney. What do you want to get off of my lawn before I shoot you? <laughs> there it is. My favorite one is Arnie. Okay, well, one last question, then we're going to skedaddle. Oh, we really tuckered them out. Dad, I can't bring. Oh, well, sorry, we got the late. Oh, two more questions. Yes, you in the back. I don't, I don't think 
he's as uh, Eric Carroll's dad. No, I don't think so. I think he was one of those young, like an upstart, like maybe he was in his late teens, early twenties when he decided yeah, he to started early. grasp for power. So no, he's not the same age as Errol's dad, no way. No way. No way. Well, he was, he was his co-pilot. Yeah, so oh, he was a young guy. He was, just, he was really young. He was young then. Yeah, well. Yeah. And the last... Well, four point, uh, <laughs> 13. The last he question, was a beach, boy. <laughs> Which where, where? countries is it shown? Oh, God. they're it's airing shown. it. It's, 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 it is, well, it's in Spain, Australia, Europe. Probably South America, Brazil. Yeah. Australia. Yeah, it's, it's, it's everywhere. It's pretty cool. And it's doing, it's doing really, really well in Europe. It's doing really, really well. Hopefully, maybe they'll get their Yeah, uh, we'll keep your fingers crossed. Yeah. And thanks for coming out, guys. Yeah, thank you very much. Right. Thank you.